Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Blue Six Tarot. I'm your host, Blue Six. If you're new to the channel, why not give me a thumbs up, a subscription, and hit that bell notification. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Oracle cards, a Halloween Oracle from Stacey DeMarco. Now, once again, as is the season of scares, um, I thought this month I will do a whole list of um, horror-themed tarot and oracle. So, of course, we're going to start with these. So, first thing you'll notice, once again, it's a large size. Um, it's produced by Blue Angel, and they're the same producers of the Isis Oracle, which I will leave a link in the description. So it's still about the same size we're talking about. Coming almost 7 inches by 5 inches. And once again, a very thick box. So it's always quite, I always like these boxes. So you've obviously got your nice example here. Some of the cards there. I shall leave that on frame for you to pause it and you can have a quick read in your leisure. So let's open this sucker. So once again you've got your knife book here and you also know the one of the things I noticed when I first got these is that it's the book's quite sunk down so there's not as many cards in here as in others but at the same time the book itself isn't particularly thick once again not quite like the Isis, ta uh, Isis Oracle so you've got the nice little details there with the same details on the box with the little um, pumpkins, ghosts, broomsticks <clears throat> which is always nice so the cards themselves once again same design Put them on there. So same design and we are looking at four inches by um, almost six, almost six inches. <clears throat> and let's have a quick look. So, we start off with Ancestry. Um, once again, I do apologise if it's a bit too reflective because these are kind of um, um, uh, glossy cards. So, I'll try and have I'll try and have them at a better angle so it doesn't do much, too much reflection. So you've got um, so so this is all in alphabetical order. So we have Ancestors. Then we have Apple. <clears throat> Of course, um, there's also a brief description underneath. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say these cards aren't for beginners. Um, you can use these to start off with, but then at the same time, these might not necessarily be easy. But if you want a challenge to begin with, these aren't bad. So, the apple, uh, barn brack, um, nice little pumpkins there. So, no, as you probably know, it's not everything here is Halloween themed, so I wouldn't call necessarily the apple to be Halloween-y, but unless it's bobbing for apples or poison apples, I guess. So we've got a uh, black cat. And the artwork in there is pretty cool as well, as you've obviously seen. And the cauldron. Uh, Dawn, um, which I think is um, an interesting take, a Halloween connection, just because by the time it's dawn, everything's kind of got better. And let's see, so we've got death, so we've got the death head moth and the skull on the moon, <clears throat> which is obviously a reference to Silence of the Lambs. Uh, great film if you haven't seen it. I mean, if you haven't seen it by now, you just probably aren't old enough to have watched it. Anyway, um, then you've got Eternal Life. I like this. It makes me think of the lovers, obviously, because you've got two skeletons here. Um, you've got a nice little heart shape here. And it could be holding hands. Who knows? <clears throat> I do apologise if I sound a bit nasally. I'm still getting over a. I'm still getting over. A, I'm still getting over a cold here. So we've got forgiveness. Now I'm not sure if that flower is um, as a gift or because I've seen it where in certain things where the flower is embed is nailed to the hand. Um, but there's nothing nothing particularly gory in here, thankfully. So it's all quite nice. Then you've got ghost. And after all, if you've got ghost, you've got everything. Um, <clears throat> so you've got a uh, graveyard, so I'm not going to read all the little descriptions at the bottom either because that will make this video last l way longer than it needs to, but obviously you can just pause us and win. So you've got hearth, which, I, which is quite nice. Um, I like the little kind of gargoyle um, above and either that's a loaf or a balm rack from earlier. But yeah, I do quite like the little gargoyle up the top there. And you've got invisibility. 
um, obviously more Invisible Man. However, The Invisible Man wasn't really a monster movie as such, more of a sci-fi film. Um, Claude Rains, definitely recommend it. Um, they should probably do another one of those. So we've got uh, Jack O' Lantern, and uh, there was a cool story I heard about Jack O' Lantern, um, but I won't bore with that with you now. Maybe another time. So then we've got Joy, which is probably more connected with Autumn rather than Halloween. But then a lot of these cards do have a connection to the Autumn season rather than Halloween itself. So then we've got um, uh, Lady... Oh, uh, Lady... So I can't quite see it for me. Uh, Lady de los Muertos. So probably... Once again, Lady of the Dead or Lady of the Dead Face. My Spanish is very rusty. So you've got uh, the lamp. Now, these are in alphabetical order according to the book, so anything with the isn't counted as one of the words. So then you've got Midnight, but then uh, everything happens at midnight. Uh, most scary stories begin or end at midnight. And you've got Mummy, which I think is pretty cool. I do like the necklace there. Not too fond of how the the, the, fa the eyes behind the bandage is, but you know everyone's a critic I guess. Uh, Night Song once again that's more connected with the, the an hour of the day rather than a actual rather than an actual um, thing of Halloween, but there we go. Then we have the Owl once again, more nocturnal rather than Halloween itself, but at the same time, who doesn't like an owl? Uh, then we've got scrying. So I quite like this because you've got your candles, your crystal ball, a bone and some crystals. And uh, you've got a nice little pentagram at the bottom there. So obviously it's showing off a bit more of the various ways to do scrying outside of cards, which I think is pretty cool. Then you've just got skeleton. I do like the little, I do like the details with some of these, uh, with the skulls, and uh, speaking of skulls, we've got a few now, so we've got Skull of Darkness, which is a nice little candle holder here, then you've got what we had on the cover of the box, which is uh, Skull of Flowers, Skull of Light, nice little angelic halo there, Skull of Stars. Not a lot of difference between those two. That's a name got Spider, because who doesn't love a good spider? Uh, trick or Treat. I think it's quite nice. Um, there are um, now once again being in the UK. When I come across a lot of uh, Halloween themed things on television, it's usually um, some of the more American stuff. So we, so I always wind up coming across stuff like Candy Corn and other sweets we don't actually get in the UK um, so there's not so none of this seems to be specific to the US which if, if it did it wouldn't be an issue but it's always it's always some sometimes stuff like that loses me just because it's not something we necessarily have here so I don't necessarily see the connection ah this one I quite like the underworld which is obviously a connection to the story of um, Hades and Persephone. That's always a good story. And uh, moving on, so vampires, because of course vampires, because Halloween, why not? I ask you, why not? So now you've got the veil, um, which, which is interesting just because you don't always see what's there. So I think that's kind of, mm, it's, it's an all right, it's okay. Um, I can see the connection Halloween there, but there you go. So you've got winter, um, that's, I'd probably see that more of something you know is on its way rather than anything connected to Halloween or autumn to be fair. But the witch, because obviously Halloween is the well, new year for pagans so that makes sense. Uh, werewolf, can't go wrong with a werewolf, I'm a big fan of werewolves. Uh, do like that. And then zombie, because if there's something we, if there's something we don't have enough of on television and everything else and media in general is zombies we just don't have enough zombies I'm surprised there aren't more zombie tarot cards but um, that's probably another thing for another video so I uh, hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, I'll leave a link
to some of the other videos I do as well. So, see you soon. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Uh, the intro and outro music was Tetris Linear Groove, available on Overclocked Remix. Give that website a look, great stuff on there. And if you also like some of my other bits, you can check out my videos. And you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Tumblr, Blue6Tarot. I'll see you again soon. Thanks again for watching.